Then we should turn around, obviously. The no, car Hold on, I'm just not trying to push forward. Okay, right there. Like so we're about to turn, we should have turned right back there. We're on this little, where? Back in the town, the village. There were some main roads that intersected there. There's no right turn in the world. I mean, that I see. Okay. We just have to go like a little further straight to connect to it. I mean, there's obviously tire tracks through this, you know? So I think that's it. So I guess we just keep going straight. Do you want to go in front of me? Oh, uh, sure. What's wrong, huh? I just got really overheated and hot. Well, take off your jacket for a sec. I'll hold your bike. We're going to leave, aren't we? Well, we can take a minute. If you're hot, I know well, you're, you're, you're holding the bike. It's not, it's... Babe, it's like balancing. I'm fine. Get in some water. This is a road, I don't really, I can't see where you are. Yeah, it keeps going, it's a trail. It's a car, really. Just come up this way, because it'll probably connect to something. It's probably better. Uh, what did it look like up that way? Yeah, probably just a little diversion. Okay, let's just see what happens. Let's go a little bit. So where are we at, babe? <laughs> We're in... Well, we don't really know. I think we went through Chimbati and um, the whole village just passed by on a truck. We're stuck at this river. I think it's still the Luangwe River that we need to go back because I think we're going on the wrong route, except we need to go find the right spot to cross the river. It looks very muddy, so it might be a little bit hectic. So we're gonna go. And there's crocodiles. Yeah, so we're gonna go walk back and see if we can find a drier patch to cross. But at least we're in the dry season because apparently the water can get over like a meter high and it's probably like 50 yards wide. So we'll see. So yeah, we're going around the river right now. We talked to some locals and said it was deep, so this is a workaround. And we got some nice baboons for company. Put the clutch a little bit in the sand and get out of it. Oh, oh, oh you should go around it. Hello. So. so these are the guys we got the directions from. Nice guys. Yeah, that tire is a little high for you. Sal's Duro tire from Taiwan is a 90, so it's higher than mine. It's a lot higher. The later one is probably more like 70, mine's an 80. When I say 80, I'm talking about the, uh, the profile, so which is uh, the height is 80% of the width, her height is 90% of the width. So it raised her bike up about an inch, which is not that big of a deal if you're tall. You can touch the ground, but when you can barely touch the ground, an inch is, is everything. You guys gave us directions earlier. Hello! Can 
get up to here, bud? Did you stall? Nice recovery. Yeah, I saw a little bit of wobble action there. Looks like you're definitely, you're definitely gonna go down. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Get it back in neutral. So we 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 have to go. Yeah. We have to go like watch that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh. It's all work, huh? Okay, let's go. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna give you a push. Yeah, let me like get straight your shit out. Start going and I'll push you over. Okay. This way. Yeah, Is this way, right? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's that way, maybe. You Dazzy? Mundazi! This way. Thank you guys. Thank you. Can I go ahead? That's a good app size too. Thank you. It's funny because it's like, I don't think that they would do that. If it was just a normal deal on a motorbike, it's just like these bikes. Okay, well my tail light just broke off because my water bottle holder is breaking and it just keeps popping out. So I just went over a huge bump and it smashed the tail light and then the whole tail light just fell off. So I guess make sure your water bottle is strapped in accordingly. Good thing I was behind you or else it would be gone. Yeah, good thing Ethan saw it. I was just cruising along at top speed. I'm kidding, I wasn't even going that fast, but, but it was a pretty I hit a pretty speed. bad bump, yeah. Okay, well, time to take a break. We still have three hours to go, which means six, so. No, it means nine. It means nine. <laughs> um, but We've anyways. got one hour on the GPS. Yeah. It's taken us three and a half hours. Yeah, one hour has taken us three hours, so. It's about three times as long as it says. I think we're out of the national park, but um, there's a lot of elephant dung everywhere. Yeah, we haven't seen any elephants, but a lot of elephant dung. Anyways, it's quite pretty though. There's a lot of very tall grass. 
it's fun to ride through. You're kind of just like whipping through all this really tall grass that you can't see over. <coughs> it's very pretty. Here comes three guys on the bikes. Got the thumbs up. Okay, we just went into Luando National Park. They stopped us in the middle of the gate and just wanted to know where we were going, where we came from. They told us that uh, we have about four hours to get to our destination. So we're going in daylight, so we're trying to get the pace. But we don't want to hit an elephant. And there's elephant shit everywhere. Right there. Everywhere. So. Hello. Nice city, buddy. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. My tires, since it's so much bigger, every time I hit a bump, I keep like bottoming out and hitting the fender. So we just took a break and realized that my tire has basically like cut open the wires for my blinkers. So we're yeah, it just starting to short out. Yeah, it was shorting out. So we're just um, re taping the wires together and then taping them up to the fender so that every time I hit a bump, I don't like rub the wires anymore. So rough day for Rose. I mean, missing tail light, <laughs> losing her blinkers. She's hanging in there. We're doing good. We have like an hour and a half, which means probably like two hours to go. So it's good. Prettiest time of day. It's like 4.30 right now. He would drive fast, he actually is almost two hours to four. Two to four? Two to four hours. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, let's go. That's okay, you are one. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. We better, we better go fast. So I just uh, I definitely skid like a good amount. Let's see. And thank God, like, my bike slid and I got, you know, out from under it. 
As I was like trying to like go back to just go into the ravine, my back tire just slid out and I just wiped out, you know? It was like right here. Definitely gotta get there now. Uh, let's just go slow. Yeah. You're gonna have to jumpstart your bike because kickstart's not gonna work. What's wrong with it? You think the uh, too hard. Really? Just, how's your legs? It's my hip. You're it's... a good one or a bad one? My good one. Okay, that's good. Maybe a bad one. Any last words before I turn it off? Did you get it wiped out? No, I just got it <laughs> just now. No, it's okay. Thank goodness that I didn't break anything. And? And go into the ravine when you're about to wipe out. I should have just gone down and gotten off this ledge because my back tire just skidded out. Okay. Anyways, pretty sunset. Ethan just went to bump start my bike because the Kickstarter, I bent the pegs so the Kickstarter won't work now. So he's very kindly bump starting my bike for me. Hopefully the hill gets bigger as it goes over. I think this is it.